didn't even notice that all the other children even the last boy and he's, he's not allowed you know it's not his time anymore Welcome to Honey and Round Music Corner. Yes. Where he has heard it, I have not. Yeah, that's basically the premise of it. Uh, yeah. First of all, welcome if you're new to the channel. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Um, what do we do on this channel? Anime and music. That's yeah. literally all we do. <laughs> anime and music. Yeah, I mean, I, hey, I love, I love me some anime too. Yeah, that's uh, true. But uh, this... I love music too. Yeah, this part of the channel, it's called Music Corner. We should basically just rename it to the MJ Corner. <laughs> uh, right now, we're going on a bit of a journey with um, the Michael Jackson songs. Uh, mm -hmm. My wife here, who's who's only maybe heard a very small handful of uh like this songs. many <laughs> yeah. i mean if that <laughs> but um so this is me kind of like introducing my oddly enough my childhood which was mainly the mj songs like that that was my foundation when it came to music and that's what influenced my musical tastes and basically like my entire life after that too um so it's kind of cool i get to like go back in time with her and re-experience all of these amazing songs by mj and even like i'm starting to like uh, appreciate these songs on a different level now, which is kind of cool. But um, I know it's different when you hear a song like you know, I'm um, not for the first time, but like the second time around, you get the different appreciation of it, and mm -hmm. especially as an adult. And honestly, he is loving this so much because, mm -hmm. like, usually this is our life. You you know, ever since when we were just friends, he would just send me messages of like songs that I would listen to, and then I have to tell him what I feel <laughs> about it. <laughs> and then like we go conversation again then we'll listen to it again and then he has to see what i how i react to it Yo, like that's, that's how it is all the time that's the power of music man it opens the conversation <laughs> but uh yeah yeah i love music and i love mj and it's kind of cool that like we're starting this journey of like reacting to a lot of his songs mm -hmm. because you you kind of get to see mj in a different light and then, know. you know like you kind of you can you are able to hear his songs that were never really known mm -hmm. for the most part or maybe just songs that you didn't even know of and then you get to hear him like wow like you know it, his talent was just like 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 infinite it was just so much right like he could do rock rap r&b pop you know he can do some country like folk like funk like this guy can do everything and it's kind of cool you you, you kind of get to see what i grew up with and why music is so important to me and honestly like i i love you know learning about his life too like you know because right now because michael's of this, life. yeah yeah <laughs> michael's life yeah just because like you know because we are going to this journey i've seen you like you know watch so many interviews of his and then i would sit down with you yeah. and like listen in and it's just it's just amazing to kind of see those things right now because like i never knew anything i only to be honest for for me, I only heard the, about the bad stuff. And since I'm from the Philippines, when you hear those things, it's immediately like banned. Mm -hmm. Like everyone just like, you know, is like all their mindset is like, nope, then we can't trust, you know, we can't have this music around. So I couldn't really listen to it anymore after that. So it's so, you know, um, it's just nice to kind of like have, you know, ha listen to it again right now. And also like listen to all his songs and really appreciate it as an adult. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Um, so we're going to do a song that many of you guys have requested. But first of all, we just want to say thank you. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, like, you guys are insane. You guys are incredible. You guys have literally brought this channel from nothing to something now. Like, yeah. to us, this channel is like, it's something more. It's something different now. And it, it's it, it's brought, you guys have brought a whole new life and a whole new chapter to like even our marriage because we started this channel just so we could kind of like document or kind of like you know have like a timestamp of like certain moments in our life but you guys just made it even bigger than that which is insane and yeah. we're, we're not stopping you know we're so close to like a thousand subscribers but like you guys have just 
made this channel in our eyes blow up and we're so thankful we love reading the comments we love interacting you know we like we love it like it's it's insane so it's it's true like you know um i was telling him like sometimes you know when because because we are doing this when like you know regardless of our uh, like we all still have our full-time jobs and then we're doing this like a day a day or like a day and a half at most like in a week yeah. when we see each other and so like sometimes it gets kind of really tiring but then you know we just to be honest for me i just read all your comments like during my break i just read your comments and then i just like okay we can still do this yeah. like you know like even if i'm not the one like responding to them they even like they still like you know they still talk about me it's like oh that is so nice yeah, you guys are incredible like this community that we've all built i, I love it and i wouldn't trade anything from it and we're mm -hmm. just starting you know this is basically her journey but we're all going along with her with yeah. the journey and like all the recommendations that you guys have done like we're, we're, we're definitely gonna do it i know but, like i'm so curious about that like live performances like yeah. he was she he was explaining to me about the munich one like he was because i was i was kind of wondering why that was because like a lot of people were saying about the munich and he explained to me that that was actually the la like you know um what was well, it like that was his per like that performance was... after his retirement that yeah. he when he said after the dangerous album that he was kind of done and tired yeah. so that so, so that's why like it was momentous will, for a lot of people we will definitely get to that we'll do a whole month of like live performances but yeah today we are doing <laughs> childhood you know a yes. song that a lot of you guys have requested um and again i'm not gonna give too much of an explanation okay. of the song again i don't want to hype it up i want you to experience the song first i'm actually excited for this because a lot of people were saying that i will like it oh yeah I'm like excited i'm not gonna say anything um but <laughs> we'll d definitely have an in-depth conversation about that in, in uh, like at the very end mm -hmm. but uh yeah let's just get on to it uh yeah. this is michael jackson childhood off of the history album let us go had you seen my childhood i'm searching for the world and found of my heart no one understands me they view it as a strange eccentricities cause I keep kidding around like a child so good you seen my childhood I'm searching for that wonder in my youth like pirates in adventures dreams a conquest and kings on a throne before you judge me I 
never know. Look at him just sitting there, eh? Like alone while the other children are like. Oh. Other children are like. He couldn't even come up at the end. Oh, yeah, I didn't even notice that. Oof. That was uh, Michael Jackson childhood, man. Yeah. She was bawling her eyes out. We had to like stop the video for a bit. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to get her like, cause like typically she likes to just watch it two or three times, yeah. but I wanted to get like her like raw emotion. I wanted, but so. I hate you. <laughs> that's a raw emotion. <laughs> Like I didn't, if you know, I'm I'm thankful so much that I kind of know about his like backstory a bit. That like when he, listening to him like sing this song, it's so beautiful. He's so angelic, and to think that you know, um, people think that he's odd. People think that you know something's wrong with him for liking all these things, but they don't understand that he didn't have a childhood. And like I, and like for me, I understand that so well because like I, you know, I was brought up very strict. I can only go to school and I can only go home. I can't even go to any internet. Like I can only buy like, you know, the anime CDs that I'm allowed to. And so that's why I love anime. But like, you know, it's like he, he couldn't go out. He couldn't even play. At least I had anime, but he, him, he doesn't have any of that. He, he just only, had the stage. Yeah, he only had to keep working, working, working. And like, and even at the very end, like he had, you know, I feel like the music video is so beautiful. It's basically like him, like, you know, yeah, we see all the children kind of like having their childhood. And I feel like in a way too, he's also providing it for them because like anyone who kind of is in Michael's life, like any child is in Michael's life, he always makes a point of like, you know, when someone when someone talks about, oh, they want like, you know, they want a cotton candy, they want a movie theater, mm -hmm. he makes and builds it for them. Yeah. And then like, you know, and so I feel like he's kind of giving it to them, like that childhood that they have, like he's making it more magical for them. But then at the very end, he's still like he's still there. He's still like in the like, you know, he's still da uh, below just looking at them, just looking at them have fun. He's basically it's basically like looking, you know, outside, like just looking outside, like looking in. Mm -hmm. He's just looking into them, like watching them have fun, seeing their experiences. But he could never truly capture his own experience or like, you know, have that own like you know childlike happiness inside of him he i feel like he just tries every single time to like have that feeling but he could never get that but no one really understands like why you know why he does what he does he's so beautiful he has such a beautiful soul i just you know um i don't under i really could not understand how people just couldn't understand like him like his feelings i don't understand how no one else could see that this is just a pure guy who just wants to like you know who just wants to be like live in that one wondrous world and that is even why we're doing this channel because like we don't want to be an adult we, like yeah we do adult things but 
we want to live you know we want to live in the world in our world that we love we want to live with you know music and anime just anything nerdy because that's how it is we you know you don't want to keep being an adult like growing up so much and then and then and then what what do you do after that it's like yeah you just keep thinking about the next thing that you have to get you have to do how about like you know just enjoy right now just kind of enjoy the things that you you can still if you can hold on to your childhood as much as you can like why not hold on to it beautiful song and like you brought up an awesome point at the end of the music video when you're seeing like kind of all the kids rise up and he's just like like rise up to the uh ships yeah um like like to the pirate ships or whatever and then you just see mj just on the ground looking up and like he's happy but he like he can't go with them yeah like that's so sad like he has to sit there and because like he missed his childhood it's like that land up there or that world up there like in the music videos it's only meant for like like children and even he knows that he's looking up and watching them play and have fun and all that stuff and then like he he can't like he has to stay on the ground because he's not he's not allowed up there because society or like the media or the world said like that's strange and like there's so many lines from this song like i'm just still because like you know as a kid this wasn't a song that i listened to a lot again i don't think i was able to like comprehend just like with stranger in moscow but man this song again year after year i listened to it like oh my god it just hits you because like um uh, i had like a different childhood from you like you know um I was allowed to like wonder and dream and like go on adventures. I was very fortunate, right? Like my mom, like the one thing, like she was very strict with me, but she allowed me to have a childhood. And I think my childhood shaped me into like who I am. And I don't think I would be where I am or like the man I am now if it wasn't for my childhood and if it wasn't allowed and if it wasn't for me being allowed to like dream and wonder and think and play and just, you know what I mean? And for Michael, it's just like, you know there's a line in here where he says like he has to compensate for the childhood that he never had so like as an adult now that he has like money and he has a bit more freedom like he wants to relive all these mo not even relive because he never had it to begin with he wants to live that life that he never had like he wants to you know go on like go on like a go-kart ride or like on a roller coaster or like a movie it's like even like the smallest things that we take for granted to him that's the whole world he wants to go on adventures and it's just, it's so sad because he says you know you know people say i'm not okay because i love such elementary things it's been my fate to compensate for the childhood i've never known i'm like oh my god like that's so like this song is the epitome of why mj is the way like why he's so eccentric and why he's misunderstood right and mm -hmm. it's not because he's weird no he didn't have a childhood he had he literally grew up you know at five years old on the stage and he's ne and he's never looked back you know yeah and i understand that like when you have such a strict upbringing mm -hmm. like you have to be like you know you're kind of like put like that like yeah. you have to be perfect but yeah and, and, it, it, like, and i think everyone's childhood is very important because it's yeah. it's a time where you can find yourself it's a time where you can explore the world and, it, and it's the time where you can make mistakes and yeah. al allow to grow from it but mj she, he never had it and like, like not just, not just him but like his whole family but i think mj it hit him harder because he was the breakout the, star right he was you know the one that the world wanted to see more of mm -hmm. and you know like there's so many um i've watched like tons of interviews with him and he was saying how like you know there were times where he just wanted to play outside and he wanted to go to the park and just throw the ball and he would hide when his dad would come because it's like no we got to go to the to the would, next town because and, we have another concert and like he would hide and cry like can you imagine that because it's not that he didn't want to do it he just wanted to go outside and play mj is just like uh my god like i'm just like reading the lyrics and it's like every line from this it's it's insane like you know and like the fact that he calls himself strange in a way he's like people say i'm strange that way so it's like mj knows that people call him strange and people call him weird but it's it's he's not weird and strange because he's just a weird and strange guy you know he likes the simple things you know he missed out on everything and he wants to relive it and i he relates more to children because you know adults rejected him they and honestly i feel like adults just always have an ulterior agenda yeah. and then that's the bad thing when you know when you are someone like like mj because 
MJ is just, you know, he's too, he's so big mm -hmm. that like everyone who isn't really like a good friend or he, who isn't like a family member it's just out for like you know for some money for some quick cash on him so like you know um he just wants like he's very pure like he doesn't you know it's just like like people are just very quick to like judge him and just you know always have a hidden agenda and doesn't really like respect what he likes and it's it's just hard to be like you know to be that kind of big star and then liking like small little things like this because yeah. no one really truly understand everyone will make something so pure to and turn it like something so bad yeah and like the line in here where he says before you judge me try hard to love me you know mm -hmm. like it's so true like instead of judging him no one like in the 90s you know when it was when it's when it was at its worst when it came to mj and like the hatred that he had to deal with man it's like people just looked at him as like a strange person it's like no he's not like before you judge him like learn to know his history and learn to know that you know any one of the people that are judging him they they, they couldn't survive one day in his shoes right and like can you imagine since you're like what five years old you were on stage and you were never allowed to play like mm -hmm. he he played with his brothers but his brothers were a lot older and he was exposed to a lot of like um the adult life and like um the rock star life at such a young age and it it warped his mind it you know mm -hmm. it, it changed a lot of stuff that um as a kid you you shouldn't be exposed to at that time because your brain can't comprehend it mm-hmm but like all the stuff that he was exposed to, it, like he should have he should have been exposed to that when he was like a teenager or like a young adult. He, you know, he would um, there was like tons of interviews where he would say like, you know, he'd have like some groupies come back and, you know, be with his brothers and he'd be out, you know, in the hallway or he'd be out on the couch of like their in their, their giant hotel room. and. It's just like he's five or six years old, eight years old, being exposed to that. It it does change you, right? It takes away mm -hmm. your innocence, and that's what happened yeah. to MJ. His innocence was taken away. But the video is so beautiful. Um, the song was originally um, it was on the Free Willy Two uh soundtrack. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know if you've ever watched that movie, but this other song that I really want. Free wa Willy. Yeah, it's about the it's about the whale. I don't think she has either. Okay. But his first song, Will You Be There, which we're gonna react to that one. That was off of the first movie, and it's kind of cool that this is off of the second movie. But, um, and you see one of the uh, main characters in the music video. But is it the guy who went up? No, it's the, the other guy up? that was re reaching out to him. Oh, but okay. You haven't seen the movie, so there's no point explaining <laughs> it. But the video is done so beautiful too. It's it's so magical. It seems like it's like in a like a Peter Pan Neverland. And I love and I just love the kind of like the music the you know the melody yeah. to it. It's just like very hypnotizing, very yeah. dreamy, very um I couldn't stop like looking at it and like and I usually read the ly lyrics, mm -hmm. but like it's just it's so beautiful. And honestly, like um the one thing I love about MJ is that like even if I'm you know even when I don't really need to I actually don't think I need the lyrics like I just read it just to make sure I'm right but he he enunciates but still very <laughs> melodic yeah and like that is amazing not a lot of like I not a lot of artists can do that because I've listened to so many that he recommends me and I could not understand what they're saying unless like I read unless I read it but MJ I can understand every single thing that he said and I think that's done on purpose because MJ when it comes to his music he's very meticulous about it he's very he's a perfectionist right so he wants people to hear his music because to him his music is very universal right it's very mm -hmm. worldly so he wants everyone to be able to hear what he has to say because when mj speaks or sings it's important you are he's allowing you to enter into his mind and you get to see his perspective on on a lot of things but yeah this song is phenomenal amazing mm -hmm. um very sad very like i know a lot of people are going to be like talking about how this song can relate to them and i cannot wait to read it because We've yeah. all had different types of childhood and like, yes, my childhood was like, you know, it was good. Don't be wrong. I was allowed to like play and stuff, but you know, I didn't have a, you know, a great one either. Like, I don't think anyone's really had a perfect childhood, but can it's you... hard to get a perfect childhood. Like, yeah. to be honest, like we can't, you know, we can't blame our parents. Like they are doing the best that they can. 
like in the philippines it's you know it's hard to keep to let your children go go out because it's not safe mm -hmm. so like it's it's hard i feel like parents are doing the best that they can you can't really like blame them mm -hmm. Like they probably like Michael. Michael's like you know, dad has a different circumstance as well that we you know will I don't know we will never know. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's hard. Even and even Michael he like, when he when Michael talks about him, like Michael still like Michael says like he's scared of him, yeah. but I can see that Michael still respects him because it's his dad. Well, yeah, I mean, and that's they, how it they is. They kind of like bury the hatchet, you know. But him and his dad has has had a very troublesome. Um, relationship throughout their whole life and you know it was his dad that was basically abusive towards him and forced him and his brothers to be on stage and mm -hmm. you know it hit mj differently you know mj was born to be a wanderer a thinker a dreamer and it was you he know because he's a prodigy just the yeah. way he talks but like even like it but that was still taken away from him like yes he was able to um bring out his dream and his mm -hmm. wonderment through his music but at what cost it was at cost of something that i think he really and mm -hmm. you know up until the day he passed away it's something that he was always chasing was his childhood and it's something that he like he can never have and like at the very end scene where he's just seeing everyone like all the children float up and he's not invited or he's not allowed or like that that magic is not allowed for him and he's just alone there it's just so heartbreaking because that's how it is for mj it's like he can sing and like he can build his whole childhood like all the amusement parks and all that stuff on his ranch but just like at the end of the video he's never allowed to truly enter into that world right and it's just it's it's heartbreaking because you know i wouldn't trade anything in my childhood for any yeah. like for anything right like that's kind of the reason why i'm very like nostalgic for the 90s and stuff like that like i was born in the 80s but i was raised in the 90s and to me like i still long for the 90s i still watch 90s like shows and sitcoms and i still mm. listen to like 90s music and like i was like the 90s and especially mj was a very influential part of my childhood so i if that was taken away i cannot even imagine but can you imagine being mj and he had zero of that like you know and then mean? like you know even as he tries to like you know like even as he tries to like grab it at the end like mm -hmm. as he grows older now that he has freedom and no one can tell him what to do people like just twisted it into yeah. something you know something like blasphemous it's just mm -hmm. like it's disgusting but again great song oh i'm so God. glad a lot of you guys recommended this i mean i wish i could uh show how much she did cry at the very end but, <laughs> but again uh, i just want to say thank you again for all the people subscribing commenting liking and just yes. the beautiful comments um we also have an instagram um it'll be in the link and it's on our page we're not really super active on it we're gonna start to post more on like that um account soon but if yes. you want to follow it it's in the description and um well um i think what i want to do is i want to put like what we're going to be reacting to because we typically record like two or three of these in a day because we don't really have time to do it every day mm -hmm. and then um we just kind of keep it on our computer so you know maybe if you follow the instagram you'll you'll see what we'll be um uploading throughout the week so it's not yeah, such a true, huge surprise yeah. but um again thank you guys keep commenting and keep recommending songs um, mm -hmm. we're gonna do a special video soon where we're gonna ask for all of your guys's uh, live performance reactions. So don't put it on this one. We'll we'll definitely do a video in the in the future because I want to dedicate an entire month to just watching his live performances. Yeah. But before we get to that, I really want her just to be exposed to a lot of these songs, like the studio version first. Yeah. But um, again, thank you guys so much for your support. Like blown away. You guys are just like make this so much fun, and I love reading the comments and i love that people are commenting from all over the world now i know that's, that's crazy and we're and not, like and we're like we're not even big time we're nothing and it's just <laughs> yeah it, it's amazing like we love this so much you know we both read the comments you know we both just love it we love interacting with you guys so thank you guys keep doing it you know i know he tells me like you know when i feel like oh when i feel kind of i'm tired <laughs> like you know when we can't do this like we just read comments of, yeah. like of like, everyone before we do this like okay we can do it. this you know, like, it's like someone is actually like wanting to see our reaction like yeah. what the hell is like you guys are actually like brain our day when yeah we're, like, 
where we're having like our kind of like our solemn days yeah kinda, like our down days which a lot of people have but like yeah. you know we just look at like how fortunate we are that you know we you guys have you know decided to join this community of ours so like that again, is true thank you again um we're gonna be doing another mj and we're gonna do another band so hopefully you guys stick around and listen to that band because i we're, we're definitely gonna be doing tons of mj but i kind of want to throw in some other music in there just kind of mix it up but um again because he loves music yeah i love like music but does. mj right now is just the only thing i can really do right now i know everything <laughs> everything in our house like right now is like he does like so much looking at so much interviews yeah, while on. i'm trying to prepare it's like okay so much interviews already <laughs> but yeah we'll see you in the next video and thank you guys again for all your support thank you so and, much yeah, until next time